Hidden beneath the shifting sands lies a creature long forgotten by mankind. Come on. It's just a party. Nothing bad ever happens. College-age students, played by actors clearly in their late thirties, arrive at a wild party, ready for a night they'll never forget. What they don't know is that something else has arrived. This Halloween terror will take a new form, and all will tremble at its roar. Hello, my name's Ivar, and that little guy right there was a desert rain frog, a member of the Breviceps genus. A very unique group of frogs that don't jump, ribbit, or like swimming. And that little sound they make is their battle cry. It's their defense to intimidate predators. Now we're going to learn a lot about these quirky little frogs once we look at the biological classification, dive into the Breviceps genus, look at other members of the rain frog family, and identify some specific species. All in today's episode. We will be covering the Breviceps, but first, Let's take a look at the biological classifications between family and genus. A family is a broad group that includes several types of animals with general similarities. A genus is a much smaller group within a family. It includes species that are very closely related to each other, like cousins. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime cow. Returning to the topic of frogs, the Breviceps genus is part of the greater Brevicipididae family. Rain frogs of the Breviceps genus stand apart from other frogs due to their distinctive traits. Unlike the majority of frog species, which possess long limbs designed for hopping and swimming, rain frogs are compact with rounded bodies, or using the scientific term to describe them, globos. I am not shape shaming them. That is what they are, globos. These short limbs are not suited for jumping, meaning that, unfortunately, Breviceps have no future in the NBA. Oh, looks like a non-shooting foul. Man, his own fans are booing him. Instead, these rain frogs primarily walk or burrow using their hind feet ideally adapt for digging. If placed in water, they will typically inflate their bodies and try to swim to land as quickly as possible. These frogs are predominantly nocturnal. They emerge mainly at night after rainfall to hunt for insects and larvae, depending on soil and environmental moisture, rather than open water sources. Their skin texture is usually dotted with small bumps or tubercles. Well, all species in this genus have this adaptation to help them resist drying out. The predominance of these bumps can vary across different species. They commonly inflate their bodies when threatened. This can be used as a defensive tactic to deter predators or simply to secure themselves inside of their burrows. Brevicep rain frogs, which include several species, mostly ranging between 30 to 60 millimeters in snout vent length. Now, there is variation in size between different species, and females are typically larger than their male counterparts. Wow, you're so round, your globo's perfection. That's right. I'm a big, beautiful lady. Don't be shy now. Breviceps have a unique system when it comes to reproduction that is suited directly for dry environments. They breed on land, often in deep burrows, under rocks, or logs, and lay eggs underground. Unlike most frogs, 
their eggs hatch directly into froglets. Smaller frogs, basically, as opposed to tadpoles. In the case of this particular genus, there is no tadpole stage. Because males are much smaller than females, both sexes have to secrete a sticky substance to stay attached during mating. Breeding is triggered by the rain, which softens the soil for burrowing. Males call from near or inside of burrows to attract females. These traits, adhesive mating, direct development, and underground nesting, help the Breviceps frog survive in an arid region without needing bodies of water to reproduce. The Breviceps is certainly the most well-known and distinct member of the rain frog family. But, and here's the big but, it's not alone. There are other genera that are members of the rain frog family. For example, the Kaolina, also known as the warty frog, which coincidentally was my nickname in high school, is a lesser known genus that includes nine species all found in East Africa. The Kaolina, much like its relative, the Breviceps, burrows, experiences direct development, and shares a unique skeleton. So that's the Brevicipididae family. It consists of multiple genera, and within those genera, there are different species. Now that we've covered both the family and genus, let's take a closer look at the Breviceps genus by examining specific species. Let's start with the common rain frog, which lives in semi-arid regions of Southern Africa. These frogs measure between four to six centimeters. They have a round body, short limbs, and a brown back with variable dorsal patterns. They're adapt to dry environments. They tend to burrow 30 centimeters deep and hibernate in communal burrows during the winter, forming a protective mucus cocoon. The black rain frog, which looks grumpy in every photo, inhabits the high altitude mountain forests and finbows along South Africa's southwestern coast. It is small, measuring four to five centimeters, and lives up to 15 years. The desert rain frog, native to the western coast of South Africa and Namibia, it thrives in foggy coastal sands, emerging at night to hunt for beetles, moths, and larvae. Its high-pitched squeal is more than just an iconic battle cry, but also a mating call. So the next time you hear this sound, know that romance might be afoot. And that desert frog <laughs> learned that smooth call from me. Hi, my name's Rizzy, the rain frog, and I am the sponsor of today's video. Face it, men, you all want a beautiful woman, just like this. That's right, I am a big round beauty. I know what you're thinking. How could some small frog like me get a woman like that? Answer, you need to pay for my brand new online courses. <laughs> I'll teach you everything you need to know to score big this rainy season. Remember, by buying my online courses, you help fulfill my dream of becoming rich and you will get a false sense of hope don't you want a false sense of hope that one day you could win over a lady like me so sign up and send me three thousand dollars today the breviceps we've examined their genus their family and even some specific species and overall we can say that these small amphibians help make our already wonderful world so much more amazing and next week we'll look at a creature that might take the cake for the most unique until then this is ivar wishing you all a wonderful day